Hello everyone. So in our previous video, we discussed that how you can create the test object during the runtime. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can modify the property of the test object during runtime. That is, how you can add the new property to a test object, how you can remove the property from the test object, and how you can update the existing property of a test object. As we know that, Test object is the terminology which Catalan Studio use for web element. And the property means the attribute which will be used to uniquely identify the test object. So attribute can be ID, CSS, XPath, anything. The important thing which you need to keep in mind is that when you modify a test object property during the runtime, it will not affect the test object which are saved inside the object repository. Instead, it will create a copy of a test object or you can say a copy of the modified version of the test object so let me show you how you can do that so the scenario which I'm going to discuss now is that currently we have a test object for this quick search text box now during the runtime I'm going to add one more property that is XPath to this particular test object to identify it currently if you look at we are using the ID locator for identifying the quick search text box. So during the runtime, I will use ID as well as the XPath for identifying this particular test object. So here I will add one more folder called modify test object. Inside this, I will add a test case called add property to test object so i will switch to the script mode first of all i will navigate to the bugzilla application so open browser specify the application url which is this after that we will wait for home page so web ui dot wait for element visible find test object quick search text box and global variable dot timeout now during the runtime if I want to modify a test object first I need to get that test object so in our method call here we are using the method find test object to get the test object from the object repository so i'm going to use the same method to get the test object again so test object new object so once i got the test object from the object repository i'm going to store a copy inside a new object which is a name of a test object which is a copy of this one So here again, I will use find test object and quick search text box. So using this, I'm able to locate the quick search text box, which is present inside the object repository. Now, whatever the modification which I do inside this test object, it will not going to affect the test object, which is saved inside the object repository. Okay. So let's say I want to add a new property. So new object dot add property so there is a method so get the test object add new property to test object okay now if you observe the method that is add property it takes four argument first is the name of the attribute which can be id css name class etc the condition type is the mat matching condition between the attribute name and its value and boolean is active if you pass the value as true then this particular locator will be also considered while finding the object on the ui if you fall if you pass false it will be excluded 
so add property so here i'm going to add a new locator for this quick search text box so let's say form at the rate id quick search form inside that we have input with name attribute as quick search okay so this is a new locator so the name will be xpath i am going to make the condition type as equals or if you see here we have contains ends with equals so this is the linkage between your attribute and its value so i will use equals so x path equals to this value and i'm going to make this as true so this particular property or attribute will be also considered while identifying the test object in the ui if i make it false then it will be ignored okay so once this is done first of all i'm going to use the test object from the op object repository then i will use the new test object so web ui dot send is find test object and this is quick search text box old test object similarly web ui dot send keys and new test object with value as new test object as we know that this particular object is getting created here itself that is the reason we don't need the method find test object this method is only needed when you are trying to locate our test object which is present inside the object repository okay send case and after that i will close the browser So this is using the object from repository and this is a modified test object. So let me put a breakpoint over here and run this script in a debug mode. I will do a step over so as you can see here we have a test object and the id of this test object is same as that of quick search text box because we are using quick search text box test object to make a copy now if i expand this properties so you, you can see here there is one property which is id and this is its value as well as this is an active property now i'm going to do step over again so as you can see here after this it has added a new property so which is also an active x path and this is the x path okay step over so the string and again step over so this is a send case action with the new test object and close the browser also if i observe my console you can see here so initially when we do the send case action for the first time it use id attribute and when we did the send case for the second time you can see here it has used the id as well as the x path also for identifying the quick search text box and if i switch back to the manual mode so this is how this script will look like in the manual mode so this feature will be really helpful when your web elements are getting modified because of some certain condition on the ui so during the runtime you can directly take that value and use for identifying that 
so that's all for this video and thanks for watching